Best Friends for Francis. And it is about Francis, and this is her right there, and her friend Albert, and whoops, the other way, her little sister Gloria, who's back there in the wagon. Okay, let's get started. And this book is by Russell Hobian, and it's illustrated by Lillian Hobian. And the dedication says, for Francis's readers everywhere. It was a pleasant summer morning, so Frances took her bat and her ball and some chocolate sandwich cookies and went outside. Will you play ball with me? said Frances's little sister Gloria as she was leaving. No, said Frances. You are too little. Gloria sat down on the back steps and cried. Frances walked over to her friend Albert's house, singing a little song. Sisters that are much too small to throw or catch or bat a ball are really not much good at all, except for crying. Oh, Francis, that's not very nice. When Francis got to Albert's house, he was just coming out, and he was carrying a large, heavy-looking brown paper bag. You see him right there, how he's carrying it out on the porch? I wonder what's in there. I bet we're going to find out. Let's play baseball, said Francis. I can't, said Albert. Today is my wandering day. Where do you wander, said Francis. I don't know, said Albert. I just go around until I get hungry, and then I eat my lunch. That looks like a big lunch, said Francis. It's nothing much, said Albert. Four or five sandwiches and some apples and bananas and two packages of cupcakes and a quart of chocolate milk. Can I wander with you? said Francis. I only have one lunch, said Albert. I'll bring my own, said Francis. I'll run home and get it right away. No, said Albert. I think I had better go by myself. The things I do on my wandering days aren't things you can do. I wonder what he means by that. Aren't things you can do? I bet some of you have predictions about what he's going to say. <sighs> like what? said Francis. Catching snakes, said Albert. Throwing stones at telephone poles. A little frog work, maybe. Walking on fences, whistling with grass blades, looking for crow feathers. I can do all that, said Francis. Except the frog work and the snakes. That's what I mean, said Albert. I have to ruin the whole day showing you how. I'll see you tomorrow. Then Albert went off to wander, and Francis walked slowly home with her bat and ball, singing... Mean boys that eat too much lunch can't do a thing but munch and crunch and play with snakes and frogs. When Francis got home, Gloria said, Will you play ball with me now? You can't catch and you can't throw, said Francis. And you can't bat either. I can if you stand close, said Gloria. All right, said Francis. And she played ball with Gloria. The next morning, when Francis went to Albert's house, Albert was playing ball with his friend Harold. Can I play? asked Francis. She's not much good, said Harold to Albert. And besides, this is a no girls game. Ooh, I don't think Francis is gonna like that, do you? Can't I play? said Francis to Albert. And remember, Albert is her good friend. Well, it is a no girls game, said Albert. All right, said Francis. Then I will go home and play a no boys game with my sister Gloria, Mr. Albert. So ha ha ha. Francis walked home. And as she walked, she sang. Want to hear a song? Boys to throw and catch a bat. 
are all the friends that Mr. Albert will have from now on. He will not have me. When Francis got home, Gloria said, How did you play so fast that you are home so soon? It was a fast game, said Francis. You are lucky that you have a friend to play with, said Gloria. I wish I had a friend. I thought Ida was your friend, said Francis. Ida is away at camp, said Gloria. And when she is here, she only wants to play dolls or tea party. She never wants to catch frogs or play ball. You can catch frogs, said Francis. I use father's old hat, said Gloria. Shall I show you how? Later, said Francis. Do you want to play ball? All right, said Gloria. If any boys come, they can't play, said Francis. And I think I will be your friend now. How can the sister be a friend? said Gloria. You'll see, said Francis. For frogs and ball and tea parties and dolls? asked Gloria. Yes, said Francis. And will you show me how to print my name? said Gloria. And tell me what the letters and numbers say when I make letters and numbers? Yes said Francis. Then you will be my best friend, said Gloria. Will it be today or longer? Longer, said Francis. And today we are going to do something big with no boys. You think Francis is saying that because she's mad at Albert? So she's saying, we're going to do something big and we're not going to include the boys, kind of to punish them for not letting her join their game. What are we going to do, said Gloria. We will have an outing, said Francis, and there will be a picnic and songs and games and prizes. Mother helped Francis and Gloria get everything ready and packed in Francis's wagon. When Francis and Gloria went off to the outing, oh, I read that wrong. I'm going to start again. Then Francis and Gloria went off to the outing. In the wagon was a picnic lunch in a hamper. That's another name for a basket. There were also two burlap sacks for the sack race, an egg for the egg toss, and a jar with two frogs in it that Gloria had caught for the frog jumping contest. And there were balloons and lollipops for prizes. Francis made a sign to carry on the outing too. It said, carefully, Best friends outing, no boys. And there's Francis, and there's Gloria, and they're walking away with their wagon, and their mom's waving goodbye to them. Francis and Gloria held the sign high as they passed Albert's house. And as they passed, Francis sang. I think she wants Albert to know that they're going on an outing and that he can't come. Let's see what happens. When best friends have an outing, there are jolly times in store. There are games and there are prizes. There is also something more. There is something in a hamper that is very good to eat. When best friends have an outing, it's a very special treat with no boys. What is in the hamper? asked Albert as he came running out of his house. I don't know, said Francis. Nothing much. Hard boiled eggs and whole fresh tomatoes, carrot and celery sticks, and there are some cream cheese and chive sandwiches, and some cream cheese and jelly sandwiches too, and salami and egg and pepper and egg sandwiches. Coleslaw and potato chips, of course, ice cold root beer packed in ice, and watermelon and strawberries and cream for dessert. Wow, that sounds like a good picnic. I want to go. What kind of sandwich would you want? And there are other things that I forget. Oh my gosh, there's more? Here she goes. 
like black and green olives and pickles and popsicles and probably some pretzels and things like that. And there are salt and pepper shakers and napkins and a checked tablecloth, which is the way girls do it. Could I come along in the eating, said Albert? You mean outing, said Francis. O outing, I mean, said Albert. Could I come along? That wagon looks very heavy to pull, and you will probably get all tired out unless I help you. I don't know, said Francis. You can see from the sign that is it, it is, oh, where, where am I? Let me see. You can see from the sign that this is a no boys outing, and it is only for best friends. What good is an outing without boys, said Albert. It is just about as good as a ball game with no girls, said Francis. And maybe a whole lot better. Can't I be a best friend, said Albert. I don't think it is the kind of thing you can do, said Francis, and it would ruin my whole day to have to explain it to you. She used his words back on him. Remember when he was talking about catching frogs and snakes? And now she says, I don't know if you could be a best friend because you don't know how already. And then I'd have to teach you and it would ruin my day. I wonder if Albert is starting to think, oh, that wasn't very nice how I treated Francis. I can do it, said Gloria. I can be a best friend and I can catch frogs too. I can catch snakes and frogs, said Albert. Let him be a best friend, said Gloria. And he can show me how to catch snakes. I'll get my snake pillowcase right now, said Albert. Well, I'm not sure, said Francis. Maybe you'll be best friends when it's goodies in the hamper time. But how about when it's no girls baseball time? When we are best friends, there won't be any no girls baseball, said Albert. I think maybe he feels a little bad. All right, said Francis. And she crossed out the no boys on the sign. See, it's crossed out right there. Then they started off again. Albert pulled the wagon to the outing place while Francis and Gloria walked ahead with the sign. The outing place was at the maple tree on the hill by the pond. Everybody had a good time there. First, Albert caught a snake for Gloria and then they played games. Gloria won the sack race, Francis won the egg toss, and Albert won the frog jumping contest with a fresh frog he caught right there at the pond. So everybody won a prize. Then Francis made up a party song and everybody sang it. When the wasps and the bumblebees have a party, nobody comes the camp fuzz. When the chicks and the ducklings have an outing, everyone has to wear fuzz. When the frog and the snake have their yearly clam bake, there is plenty of wiggling and hopping. They splash in the pond and the marshes beyond, and everyone has to get sopping. They look like you're having a great time now, don't they? And at the best friend's outing, said Albert, everyone has to eat, don't they? Yes, said Francis and Gloria, and they opened the hamper. Maybe we packed too much, said Francis. I'm not sure we can eat it all. That is what best friends are for, said Albert, as he quickly spread the tablecloth. I will help you finish it all. And that is what Albert did. And when the picnic was over, the hamper was not heavy at all. I can't believe the three of them ate all of that food. I call that a good outing, said Albert, and he gave Francis and Gloria a ride in the wagon while he pulled it all the way home. <laughs>